Hi, my name is Amit and I did my, I'm from India, I did my masters from DAV College, Jalandhar, Punjab, India. I came here to do my master from my PhD degree a, from Hunter College of the City University of New York, Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry. I joined Professor Charles Michael Brain Laboratory, which is where we synthesize and study the various aspects of power frame and, as a supramolecular system and nanomaterials. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about my project where we study the catalytic properties of porphyrin supramolecules under eco-friendly conditions. As we all know that in the growing field of chemical industries, every day we came across new materials in the market, the mass production of which requires a tons of organic solvent and other conditions which may or may not be environmentally safe. And sometimes the byproduct of these reactions also causes environmental damage. So to protect our environment, we really need to do and follow the principles of green chemistry. Green chemistry includes the design of products and processes in chemical research and engineering where it eliminates or reduces the use and generation of hazardous chemical substances. It targets pollution at the beginning and involves all aspects and type of processes such as synthesis and reaction conditions and analysis. Various metal complexes have been used industrially as a catalyst for the oxidation of a variety of uh, organic and inorganic compounds. A catalyst is a substance which accelerates the rate of reaction. The main problem with the catalysts which are used in cosmetics, pharmaceutical and other industries is that they use a toxic metal or metal oxides and also they use halogenated solvent and they use a synthetic oxygen sources, source of oxygen such as hydrogen peroxide which is hard to synthesize and sometimes releases hazardous gas to the environment. Our goal is to develop a catalytic system which can work for these kind of reactions under eco-friendly conditions. To meet our goal, we choose metalloporphyrin such as iron porphyrin because iron porphyrin is an eco-friendly compound as this compound is present in blood which is a heme and uh, green pigment of the plant which is chlorophyll is also a magnesium porphyrin. We know that the supramolecular system are a robust material, so first we prepare the nanoscaled self-assembled particles of iron porphyrin in water to form their nanomaterials. The nanoparticles are those particles which are in the size range of 10 to the power minus 9 meter. So these self-assembled system in water are known as colloidal solution and are very stable over the weeks and these are different from the particles in solution. So here you can see the difference between these two. The the colloidal solution, so if you pass light uh, because of the Tyndall effect, they scatter light in all directions, so light cannot pass through this solution. But wherever, when you pass light through the substance or molecule in the solution, which is transparent. So once we have our nanoparticle form, we characterize them through the light absorption technique and their size by the light scattering technique. After characterization, we check the catalytic activity of these self-assembled nanoscaled particles for the oxidation of a standard organic substrate. We use a cyclohexene for our reaction and then we run the reaction. We use a GCMS instrument to characterize our reaction mixture. Okay, so this is our GCMS instrument which is a high fermentative technique involves gas chromatography and mass spectroscopy. GCMS is a technique that combines the feature of gas liquid chromatography and mass spectroscopy to identify different substances within a sample. So this combination involves two major building blocks. This part is gas chromatographic part which separates the various components of the sample 
and this part is the mass spectrometry which further analyze the compound based upon their mass. The major application or use of this instrument includes the drug analysis, fire investigation, environmental analysis for the pollutants such as the DDT or PCBs in the environment and also to test the food spoilage and adulteration. So once we run our sample, we got our result on the computer screen. So here this top part is the GC part which indicates the separation of various components in our sample. So once we analyze this peak, we got this kind of stuff and we match this spectra with the spectra in the library and for the identification of the compound. After analysis over reaction mixture using GCMS instrument, we find that these self-assembled porphyrin nanoaggregates have enhanced and unique catalytic activity. The importance of this nanoparticle catalytic reaction is that it can be used industrially for allylic oxidation reaction because the industrially used synthetic method for the formation of allylic oxidation product for polyphenes involves the use of stoichiometric amount of selenium dioxide or other metal or metal oxide which are toxic in nature.